Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll be looking into a very interesting problem regarding bloom filter. So basically, this is the problem. It says that bloom filter with M equals to 1000 cells is used to store an information about N equals to 100 items. Using K equals to 4 hash functions, we need to calculate the false positive probability of this particular instance. So basically, if you remember, one of my previous videos was on bloom filter. What exactly is this bloom filter? It finds out whether a particular element belongs to a set or not. If you haven't watched that particular video, then you can watch it in the big data analytics playlist now. And now let's come back to this particular problem. Here you can see that there are certain parameters given. So first, let's have a clear idea what exactly is this. So here we have M. What exactly is this M? M is the total number of cells that are present inside the Bloom filter. If you remember, Bloom filter was like an array data structure with certain cells inside it. So here it is given that the Bloom filter contains total 1000 cells, something like this. And now here the next parameter is N. So here N means the total number of items that are actually going to be fed into the Bloom filter. So n is the total number of items which is given as 100 and the total number of cells in the bloom filter is 1000 and we are also given with k equals to 4 hash functions what is this k this k is a hash function now if you remember what exactly is this hash function it takes an input and it converts it into an output in such a way that it is irreversible to get that particular input again. And the total number of hash functions that we are going to use in this particular Bloom filter problem is 4. Now, with this particular set of given data, we need to find out the false positive probability of this particular instance. Now, if you remember, Bloom filter was having a particular speciality that Bloom filter can have false positive results, but it cannot have false negative results that means if a particular item is present inside the given set of items given set of data then bloom filter can give a probable answer whether that particular item is present or not but if that particular item is not present inside that particular given set of data then bloom filter will surely tell you or it will give you 100 percent guarantee that particular item is not present inside the data so now there is a chance that the result that we have got, which is positive, can be false. So we have to find out the false positive probability for that particular set of instance. And for that, we have a formula. And the formula is something like this. Let me write down the formula. So the probability, which is denoted by P, the probability of false positive rate is given by 1 minus e to the power minus k n by m the whole raised to k now inside this we already have seen the significance of each and every parameter that are involved here k is the total number of hash functions n is the total number of items that are going to be fed into the bloom filter and m is the total number of cells that are present inside the bloom filter now we have all these values we just have to put this into this particular equation and we'll get the answer. So let's feed all the values in place of all these variables. So 1 minus e to the power minus what is k? k here in the given data the k value is 4 multiplied by n. So what is n? It is 100 divided by the m value. Now m value in the question is given as 1000. Now, this whole has to be raised to k, that is 4. Now that we have plugged in all the values of all these parameters k, n, and m, now let's try to solve this particular expression. And here we get 1 minus e to the power 4 into 100 gives us 400, and then comes 1000. And this whole is raised to 4. Now, we can boil this down to 1 minus e to the power minus 0 0.4 the whole raised to 
4. Now you can use scientific calculator and plug in all these values and you will get the answer. And the final answer that you get after solving the entire expression is 0 0.0118. So this is the probability that we have got. And what exactly is this? This is the probability of getting the false positives for this particular instance, for this particular scenario. That means if we have total 1000 cells and we have 100 items to feed into that particular bloom filter and if we are using four hash functions, then the probability of getting false positives is 0 0.0118. So I hope it is clear to you all how to solve this kind of problem. The formula remains the same. You just have to alter the values that you get in the question and you need to solve it. If you guys have any single doubt in this particular formula or in this particular question, then you can straight away put it in the comment section. I'll be happy to solve it. For more such videos, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell icon and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I would request you all to join me on Telegram also. Have a good day ahead.